Hi, welcome to the second of our Gaze on the Couch videos. This is really just uh, an introduction to our Hepatitis No USDI videos that are coming up. Um, with it being World Hepatitis Day on the 28th of July, we thought we'd uh, put a bit of a spotlight on hepatitis. Just having a cookie. Absolutely. Um, hepatitis really just means inflammation of the liver. It's a Greek word. Um, can be caused by a whole load of things. I'll let Colin talk about that fairly shortly. Um, but it really boils down to stuff that affects the liver and your liver is probably the most underrated organ in your body. It's got something mad like 500 functions, it produces enzymes, regulates hormones, cleans blood, produces digestive fluids. It is kind of like your body's Pretty awesome. work shed really, yeah. isn't it? Um, it can take a whole load of punishment but there comes a point where it can't regenerate, it can't recover and then things can get really quite serious, you can become quite unwell quite quickly. Um, but Colin's the, the hepatitis expert, um, and so I'll let you, him tell you a bit more about the causes and the virals and the non-virals. Knock yourself out. So, no pressure there. No, not at all. Um, I'm raising expectations at every stage. There's really um, sort of two main categories of, of hepatitis. There's non-viral hepatitis and viral hepatitis. You know, the things that can have an impact on the liver, as I think Mark just touched on a little bit there, was things like um, alcohol, you know, excessive alcohol use, um, excessive um, street drug use, even prescribed drugs you, sometimes can have an impact on the liver. So um, that, that, you know, that's often why they say that certain prescribed drugs can only take for a certain period of time because of the impact it has on the liver. Um, as Mark said, your liver is one of the hardiest organs in your body. Uh, it can put up with a, a whole range of different abuses, but there reaches a point where it just cannot cope anymore. And if you are infected with one of the viral hepatitis, or maybe more than one, people can be co-infected with, for example, Hep B, Hep B and Hep C positive, that just adds extra strain onto your liver. So the reality is, um, hepatitis A, um, B and C are, the, are really the main ones that you know, we, we focus on here at, at Gay Men's Health and at the GUM Clinic. Um, and really there is only one way that you can know for sure if you've been exposed to any of these viruses because the reality is people can have any of these viruses and appear to be well for a long period of time. Quite often people get exposed, for example, maybe ARV and will get rid of it naturally. Some people will go on to become chronic carriers, but you can be a chronic carrier for a long time and never have any symptoms. So the recommendation that we give here at Gay Men's Health is, if you want to know if you've got been exposed to any of these viruses, go along to either your local um, gum clinic or the, the city clinic here in Aberdeen, or go along to your GP and get a blood, um, get a blood test to, to find out. That's the only way that you can, you can know for sure. Thank you, Colin. Um, so keep an eye out for, in the next couple of days, we'll be producing little hepatitis A videos, B video Absolutely. and a C video. Um, so keep an eye out for those. Thank you for watching and we'll see you see again you soon. soon. Bye. Bye.